All right, hello everyone. I am making another quick video because the last one's got such a great response and some great comments and uh, suggestions and everything. And I want some more. I've got another question for you. I've told you I'm gonna upgrade this Rad Rover. Let's take a look. My 2018 Rad Rover is gonna get some power upgrades, new motor, new battery to start for sure. And now that we've decided to do that, um, I have the next question for you which is once I get all these parts in that I've got on order right now, I'm just waiting for everything to slowly come in um, and I get it all installed. I'm going to do installation videos for everybody so you can see how to put in the 750 watt motor into the rear hub. But once I get that in there and the new battery on and everything and I go out to do tests, what do you want to see? Now I plan on repeating all the original tests I did when I went from stock Rad Rover to controller upgrade which was a, a zero to 20 timed, a hill climb and a top speed. So now when I put the new motor, new battery on, I'm gonna repeat those tests, but what else do you wanna see? I've had somebody say they wanna see an eighth mile, a quarter mile. I'm having a hard time thinking of other tests that might be relevant. Uh, so I'm asking for your comments to let me know what would be a cool test to see on this upgraded Red River when it happens. It should happen here in the next, I'm hoping in the next week, I can get all the parts in and get, gotta find some time to put them in. And I'm probably gonna do the motor and the battery separately. I'm gonna do the motor first and then go out and do my testing and then I'm gonna do the battery next and go out and do the same testing again. That way I'm gonna have video footage for you guys of everything. Stock Rover, controller upgrade, motor upgrade, battery upgrade. So you can see what each component gets you in, for, in terms of performance. Um, and I'm saving the battery for last because the battery is the most expensive. So I kind of want to do it incrementally, you know, where you can spend the least amount of money to the most amount of money in upgrades. And uh, a lot of you have been talking about taking the extra parts and doing a front wheel drive you know make it make it a two-wheel drive vehicle and honestly i have no freaking clue how to do that i you know i've got the extra hub motor but i i would need a fat tire a front wheel fat tire to put that in I, I don't know how to do that i don't know who sells that so if you know that comment and i'll look into buying it and doing it because i'm gonna have an extra motor an extra controller an extra display finally we reached the top what is it seven levels All right. There we go, best view in town, right? Top of the parking deck. There's a fountain way down there that we always cruise around. This parking deck is overkill. It's completely empty all the time. All right, so that is the update. Those are the components that are going on this. Like I said, they're already on order. I've got a bunch of them already. I'm just waiting on bits and pieces. Let me know what other, that's the main thing I wanna get out of this video. Comments on what other tests you want me to see what you, that you want me to do when I get the motor in and the battery on and I'm out scouting right now someone suggested the quarter mile eighth mile so I'm out trying to find with my little wheel here a uh, you know a quarter mile stretch of you know non busy road or parking lot or something where I can do those tests which is not easy to find a quarter mile when you're start wheeling it out like this is way longer than you think and i have one more request uh, for you guys as well i recently built my website it's ridewithcitizen.com so check that out i put on there um, links to all the accessories for my e-bikes the rad rover the rad mini and all of my motorcycles all the parts and things i've added to the bikes they're all there with uh my you know links to them their affiliate links a lot of them because it's on amazon and i'm an associate there now do you want to give me some support go check out those links and click through there that way i get credit for it but anyway so if you could do me a huge favor and uh, go to the website check it out and let me know what you think it was my first time ever building a website so kind of struggled with it a little bit but i put links on there to all the accessories for the e-bikes and the motorcycles that i've got so you can get those if you want them and i also kind of want to set this website up to be a little bit of a a resource for folks that are researching e-bikes right so when i was looking at getting a possibly another one uh, there was just an endless amount of bikes out there that I never even heard of. So I, I put on the website a link 
for e-bike research as the the menu tab and it just lists out all the companies that i have currently heard of that sell e-bikes so you can you know click through the list and look at different bikes and see which ones you know pique your interest i don't know anything about them uh, the only one i know anything about is the rad rover because that's the one i own so all the it's just a listing of other places to look for e-bikes because right now they're pretty scarce it's it's hard to find one that you can get shipped to you normally a waiting list of a couple months so you might be able to peruse those websites and find some that are available right now if you're like me and you don't want to wait so let me know what else you think i should add to the website that would actually be useful i want it to be kind of a useful website where you can go and you know find some good information so anxious to hear what you think of that so if you're not subscribed yet, do that. Hit the subscribe, hit the bell. That way you're notified as soon as I get these upgrades completed. Like I said, I'm gonna put the install video out there for you and I'm gonna do the results video after that. I'm gonna separate it because otherwise, if I try to do everything in one video, it's gonna be like 40 minutes long. So we're gonna do strictly install video only, I think. That way you'll have that as a tutorial and then I'll do re results like the next day or something so you can see what you get out of it. So there you go. If you got a rad bike or you're thinking about getting one, you're probably gonna wanna see all this stuff. I'm kind of your guinea pig uh, that's gonna videotape my experience with buying all this stuff because it's not cheap. The controller's two something, motor's two something, battery's five something. So all said and done, I'm gonna have like $2,500 into this bike trying to amplify it up. So, but I'm doing all this so you guys can see what it's like for somebody who knows you know, nothing about e-bike building you know what it's like for me to do this not having the tools not having the knowledge but i'm just going to figure it out hello people of earth but yeah i am not a bicycle technician at all or an e-bike builder so you're going to get a first-hand look of what it what it takes for your average citizen to do these kind of upgrades to a bike well that is all for the video today guys again leave me comments on tests you want to see when I upgrade this thing because I want to make sure I cover everything that people want to see. Also, if you have any comments on other upgrades you want me to do, let me know. I'll try to get to those. I plan on just kind of maxing this thing out. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you in a few days.